the soul of the startup ecosystem in Texas is where we work and it's where our home is. And we're gonna take you there. So people have been asking us where we work. This coffee shop is where we do a lot of our work, but it's conveniently located to our actual office. Capital Factory here in Dallas. And they're in Austin, and they're in Houston, in Houston and in San, San Antonio. Antonio. And they like to think of themselves as one office. So what you'll learn about today, it's a very important part of what we do, is how our world intersects with startups and investors and corporates, and it all happens right here at Capital Factory in Dallas. There's no way I can do this until I have a coffee. All right. On days when I'm with uh, Chris and Jordan, I have to do two vlogs, two, two, two vlogs at once. We're halfway through the year, we've already made 15 investments. That's not bad. You know, we're actually one of the largest investors in the state of Texas for early stage companies, but we're not the largest. Capital Factory's made, what, 30? This year? I think I think like that, 35 yeah. this year and 70 last year. So they are the largest early stage investor in the state. So what's interesting about Capital Factory, they're a startup accelerator, a startup co-working space. They're an event space for the entire city. They're pretty much the largest early stage venture company in the state of Texas. So between two locations, Capital Factory hosts 1,200 events a year. So we have a couple of dedicated ongoing series that we do here at Capital Factory. Obviously we do this AMA event, which opens up specific industries, topics, expertise. We bring in people that are subject matter experts. We bring in an expert and let the community just interact with them. Um, we also have meetups here. Meetups are free, right? And like free. anybody yeah. can schedule a meetup. And also all the events, the 1,200 events you have, here's what I think is mind blowing. Anyone in the city can come to any event. Absolutely. There's no fee, they're not by invitation only. You wanna come learn about startups, you wanna learn about you know early stage investing, you can come here every single night. This is where all the big events take place. Lots of seating available. If you're in Dallas and you've done something interesting in the startup space, chances are you will end up on this stage at some point if you haven't already. I don't think our sticker's on this board yet. What? So this big open space is a place to casually meet up. There's a bunch of conference rooms behind these glass doors. There's larger training rooms. One of the more popular areas here is the gaming center. Full-size ping pong, actual arcade games, and a fun circle couch. Wait, Dave, VR center! <laughs> Another great thing about Capital Factory, there's never a time when we can't find a conference room. How many conference rooms are here? Every conference room is named after another video game. Galaga, Frogger, Tetris, Minecraft. Favorite, Centipede. Wait, why is it your favorite? Centipede? Yeah. It's the greatest video game that's ever been created. All right, so we're headed up to the kitchen now. This is where we do office hours. Uh, probably once a month, once every two months, we'll have startup founders who will book time with each of us. We get to give them advice. Um, they can try to hit us up for money. They always hit us up for money. <laughs> and then also at bigger events, they have epic office hours, which is more the speed dating of startup investing. It's intimidating meeting with like 20 startups in 45 minutes. Yeah, also you end up meeting startups that you ordinarily probably wouldn't have met with because you didn't feel they were a right fit for you, but yep. sometimes you find like it, it forces you to think out, outside of your normal totally. box, which, which is cool. When you, when you no longer have a private office and don't have access to this area, you have to run for it. When startups get a little bit bigger, they can actually rent their own office here at Capital Factory. It's a co-working space behind these doors. You can rent desk. A lot of people just have desk. Uh, but my old company that me and Jordan sold, uh, Ticker Tags, uh, which is a social intelligence company for hedge funds and quant funds, and it's how we find a lot of our biggest ideas for investing. This is the company, right? This is the company. What is it like working at Capital Factory? It's really interesting that everyone is kind of in the same realm as you are and, and to have so many quick starting businesses. Like everyone here is in their first few years of business. Tons of free food, I'll probably eat 20 apples a week. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama went to the Austin Capital Factory and last week I think the Prime Minister of Georgia was here. And I, I apologize to them for leaving them when we sold the company and now they have a much bigger boss. You guys are killing it, doing a great job. So that's it, that's that's our office, it's our home. It's not, it doesn't feel corporate here. It really is a big family. The staff is a big part of that. They make you feel like family, like Jessica here. And we never had anything like this when we were a startup. We were all on our own. In fact, when we were in corporate, 
We never had a place like this where we could find startups. I couldn't imagine surviving without this. Because we didn't know where to meet investors back then. Now you just come here and you have everything right in front of you. That's our office, that's our home away from home. It would have been a game changer if we had this back when we had real jobs. Today's founders have no idea how easy they have it. When you ask us, where do you find your deals? How do you meet all these great people? How does it all work? This is a big part of it. That was a lot of talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are Dumb Money. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Now we're on Hey There Dave here. <laughs> it never ends.